Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm C. Shoddy Hill and today I'm gonna to be talking about the questions you should ask yourself before you adopt a dog, especially if you're a young person under 25 years old. I say 25 and younger because I am 25 and no, I don't have all my stuff together, but I do have enough of it together to feel confident and know that I'm going to be able to support my animals for the rest of their lives. If you're 25 or under and you're watching this and you're like, hey, I'm offended, I'm 21 years old and I've been taking care of myself for a couple years, no one supports me, I'm independent, what is she talking about? I'm not talking to you. So I'll just start by saying I am 25 and I have four pets. I have two dogs, Copper, my five-year-old Basset Hound, and Oliver, my one-year-old Shih Tzu Poodle Mix, and I have two cats. Luna is a five-year-old Tortie on her cat tree over there, and Matilda I just adopted about a month ago, and she is a 10-week-old Dilute Calico. I know it might seem a little weird that I'm so young and I have so many animals. Obviously, owning pets is a big responsibility, and I just wanted to talk about why I feel like it works for my lifestyle and some things that you can ask yourself before you make the commitment to bringing an animal, particularly a dog, into your life. Not a lot of you, but some of you have expressed concern for younger people adopting an animal and being a little unsure of where their lives are gonna go in the next few years, and I completely understand. That is a real concern, so let's talk about it. First of all, I think you really need to ask yourself, you know, why do you want a dog in the first place? Because if you just want one because they're cute and you think it's cool to have a dog and maybe you're in college and you wanna be the cool person with a puppy on campus, you just want a cute little puppy, that might not be enough. I think you should also ask yourself, how long have you wanted a dog for? If this is just an impulse decision, especially if you've never had a dog in your life before and you don't even really know how much of a responsibility it truly is to care for a dog, maybe you should wait a little bit and understand you're gonna need to put time and effort into training them, you're gonna have to spend a bunch of quality time with them, and you're gonna have to spend a lot of money on them too. What are you two doing? Please be careful, don't hurt each other. Something you really do need to consider is where do you see yourself in the next couple years? Where do you see yourself in two years, four, five, 10 years? Because dogs live a long time. Dogs can live anywhere between 10 and 15 years, even upwards of 15 years. I understand when you're young, maybe you're just graduating college or just coming out of a trade school or fresh out of high school and you're working and you're excited. Um, you have so many possibilities and so many options and some of you might not want to be held back by an animal and I totally understand and respect that but if that is you you need to know it's not in the best interest of that animal for you to take them in and then just give them up a couple months or years down the line because you want something else for your life if you're planning on moving cross country for a career or a job opportunity or an internship or anything are you going to be able to bring your pet with you? Is that going to be a priority to you? I had some of my classmates back in college adopt animals and then less than a year later I need to rehome my puppy because I'm moving into this apartment that's not dog friendly. And I'm just like, what the heck dude? Just find a, an apartment that is dog friendly. I moved several times in college and I always found a place where I could bring Copper and Luna. Always. It's not that hard. So if you're wanting to live in a bougie luxury apartment that isn't dog friendly, don't get a dog. When I was probably 20 years old and I had recently gone copper within the past year or so, one of my friend's dads brought up a really good point and he said to me, he said, Chloe, you are on the launch pad of your life right now. You have so many possibilities and so many options, but you have a dog running around on the launch pad. Do you really want to have a dog running around on the launch pad? Is the launch pad really a place for a dog? And I think he brought up a really good point. I think the launch pad was a perfect place for Copper to be in my life, but I understand that that's not the case for every young person, and I think he is right in a lot of cases. So just keep that in mind. I thought that was a pretty accurate analogy. It's not selfish to not want to take care of something and to revolve your whole life around it. But it is selfish for you to just go out and get one and then rehome them later. I don't believe in rehoming animals. 
but I don't judge people. I understand there are extenuating circumstances and sometimes it is in the best interest of the animal and the person. I think you do need to take care of yourself. No judgments here. If you're into judging people for rehoming the animals, go ahead, be my guest. It's not my thing. I also understand that a lot of people my age or younger or older, you know, they have the need to go out and explore and, you know, sow their wild oats go to India or Africa or Europe or wherever, South America, wherever, for like six months and find themselves and go on a spiritual journey and blah, blah, blah. That's not me. I've never really had a desire to do any of those things. I would much rather be at home with my pets, with my family. I love, I love it, it's for me. But I understand and respect that it's not for everybody and some people really want to travel and their priorities are just different than mine. And if that's the case, I don't think you should get a dog until you're done doing all that. Another thing you should consider is are you financially independent enough to take care of an animal? So once you get the animal, you're gonna need to obviously buy them food. Food is kind of expensive. You're gonna wanna buy them toys, treats, you're gonna wanna take them to the vet. They're gonna need shots, vaccinations. They could always get sick. There have been plenty of times when I've been extremely worried about Copper, thinking he was gonna die, taking him to the vet, spending upwards of three, four, even $500 to find out that he's totally fine. But that's the price that you have to pay to love someone who cannot tell you what's wrong. And I would gladly pay $500 any day if I was really worried about Copper just to know that he's gonna be okay. Every single decision that I make revolves around my pets. For example, my boyfriend and I are going on vacation next month and I need to find someone and I need to pay them to not only take care of them, but also to stay here with them, sleep in my bed, be with them for you know a big portion of the day every day when I'm gone because that's what they need. They need a lot of attention and I'm not gonna board them because Copper would have a heart attack and probably die if I did that. And it's just easier for them to not be disrupted and before I even booked the plane tickets, I had to talk to a couple people and know that I could rely on some people that I could work out a deal with them that they could take care of my pets. I don't have the luxury of going out all night with my friends and then getting drunk and staying at my friend's house. And I don't have the luxury of sleeping at my boyfriend's house every night. I've been dating my boyfriend Keith for over a year now and I've only ever slept at his house two times. Only two times because I need to be here with my pets. They need me. So if you have a really big social life and that's really important to you, I don't think it's right for a dog to just be sitting at home alone while you go out and li live your social life. I just don't think that that's fair to them. Are you the type of person who loses yourself in a relationship? Um, as I mentioned before, I've only ever slept in my boyfriend's house two times <laughs> over and over a year of dating because of my pets. And if you're the type who just wants to be with your significant other all the time, constantly, nothing else matters in your life, if, if they might influence you to be like, hey, get rid of your dogs, you know, let's travel, I want more freedom, I want this, I don't think you should get a dog because that's really not fair. That's not fair to your pets. And also, if you ever break up, you're gonna wish that you kept your pets because they were gonna be there for you through, throughout that too. Copper was with me for three breakups now and he's been my, he's been my rock, my best friend, and you know, the man of my life. So boyfriends come and go, dogs are for life. <laughs> if you have watched this whole video and you're thinking that's the life that I want, you know, those things that she was talking about, like traveling and having the freedom, that's not as important to me as it is to other people my age, then I don't think anyone should make you feel uncomfortable or bad for wanting to have pets at a young age. I think you need to make sure you don't get in over your head and that you can handle everything. But if you really feel like you can and you want to, don't let anyone shame you or make you feel like it's a bad decision just because you're 20 years old or 23 or 18. Getting my pets was the best thing that I've ever done in my life. I love them so much and they bring so much joy and happiness into my life and I wouldn't trade them for anything. And I know a lot of other people my age feel that way too. So as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Give me some video suggestions. Follow me on Instagram, message me on there. I love reading your messages and your comments. Only you in your heart know what's best for you. You know yourself better than anybody else. 
And if your heart is telling you that you want to open your heart up to an animal and love it and care for it for the rest of their lives, I think that you should do that. I really do. And if you have any questions about owning animals or being young or how I make decisions, not that I'm an expert or a pro or anything, um, please let me know. I love answering your questions. I love helping you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.